What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix series Virgin River Season 2. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Okay, I was a huge fan of the first season, so this review is mainly for those of you my fellow Virgin River fans. Meaning, if you are not caught up yet with the previous season one, then you're probably gonna get lost in my thoughts about this new season. Obviously, because you're not familiar with the characters and their story arc. So just a heads up there. And for those of you my fellow Virgin River fans, since this review arrives on the same day as the premiere of the new season 2, there is no need to walk on eggshells anymore in terms of spoilers. And I'll try my best to let you in on what you can anticipate. So, refreshing your memories. What happened at the end of the last season? Well, Mel sort of, emphasized sort of, left Virgin River. And she didn't really tell Jack about it. And now she comes back and boy, oh boy. Let's just say that the writers of this show has a shitload of drama for Mel and everybody around her. And I promise to share more, so stick around. Created by Sue Tenney. In Virgin River Season 2, midwife Melinda Monroe returns to Virgin River and Doc's clinic, realizing she must learn to come to terms with herself and her past before she can truly make this her home. Engagement, babies, heartbreak, murder. For a small town, Virgin River sure has its fair share of drama and suspense. And Mel Monroe is often in the middle of it. Starring Alexandra Breckenridge, Martin Henderson, Tim Matheson, Annette O'Toole, Lauren Hammersley, Colin Lawrence, Grayson Guernsey, and Sarah Dugdale. One of the many reasons why I love this show, and I'm glad that this new season doesn't deviate away from it, is that it reminds me of shows like Everwood, and Hearts of Dixie, with everybody knowing everybody's business. And it's not necessarily a mystery thriller, but more of a feel-good drama with a reasonable dose of secrets. The dialogues are so testy and sassy, especially the conflicts between the ladies. If you thought that Mel's life was complicated in Virgin River Season 1, well, you ain't seen nothing yet. How about we start with the love triangle? Lauren Hemersley, who plays Charmaine, is no longer recurring. She is now series regular, which means you will see a lot of Charmaine because Charmaine is carrying Jack's offspring. And man, does it get really tense between Mel and Charmaine. Because here's the thing, Charmaine really cares about Jack in her own way. So when you love someone that much, your claws are up against any potential competitors such as Mel. But my favorite part of this new season is actually Doc and Hope who are trying to mend their relationship and giving it another try, this is when the writers seem to be having the most fun because Hope's idea of getting back together is by way of playing games and manipulation, whereas Doc really genuinely means it. But the back and forth between Doc and Hope is like two equally stubborn people who know each other so well, they know which buttons to press. They're blunt, they're funny, they're sweet. You can't look away even if you tried. My least favorite part is Preacher and Paige. I think this new season just doesn't know what to do with those two. To the point where they even throw Preacher into an alliance with 
the biggest gossiper in town while benching or forcing Paige to sit on the sideline early on that you don't even see her anymore after that at all. So the rest of this season is just Preacher teasing you with the oh my god, am I gonna get caught storyline, which to be honest with you, gets real old real fast. As for Calvin, things do escalate in that illegal operation of his. This is the part where I don't want to reveal too much because it does have its bloody twists and turns. All you need to know is that this is one entanglement that's consequential. There are some budding romance between Ricky and the new girl Lizzie. As adorable as they are, their plot doesn't really go anywhere and it's superficial and underdeveloped. Anytime the focus is on them, I just keep wishing it to go back to focusing on Mel. I think overall, the character developments on this new season 2 are intriguing but not all of them are significant, but the show is addictive, the characters are likable, and the drama is juicy, juicy, juicy. That said, season two does leave us with a cliffhanger, and I don't know if that's a good thing, considering there is no guarantee these days that Netflix would renew any of their shows. 